Ashley D is a struggling YouTuber who has finally gave an interview or some type of information where I can use commentary on. Last night, um, she gave a good interview. Now, there's two interviews, right? The first interview, um, well, the first video that Ashley D did, um, she was talking about that tape again. The woman who was in the tape with her is suing her. A civil suit. Lo and behold, the person who was in the tape with her jumps inside the chat. And I'm just like, wait a minute. How is it that you are suing this woman, but you're in her chat? Like, do you really have a case? Because I don't see how this is going to help your case. If you're saying this woman tried to destroy you or defamation of character and all this stuff, but you're in the chat holding a conversation with her. It was very weird. But the most um, imperative questions was they accused um, Ashley D of the R word. They said that she R the girl. You know what I'm talking about? And the girl in the chat wasn't really saying too much towards that. And so Ashley D got a little upset. And so she said, wait a minute now. Are you going to say that I R you? Y'all know what the R word is, right? And so the girl stayed quiet for a while, but then she came back and she said, I didn't say that. But my thing, all you got to do is go over to Ashley D's uh, YouTube video and you can see Crystal in there herself having the same conversation I'm having. And you know what I did? I downloaded that video just in case somebody tried to circle around for some BS. Mm -hmm. I mean, since, since she the suing type, I said, uh -uh, let me download it. Boom. All right. So, um, then someone in the chat started saying, was you intoxicated, Crystal? Because if you was intoxicated, then it can be considered a R word because a drunk or intoxicated person cannot properly consent to having S. I said, wow, these are some good questions. Now, with some other crazy questions in there, you know, people saying all kinds of stuff, you know, but I'm, I'm, I'm talking about stuff that really mattered, you know. So I was like, okay, these are good questions. And, and the girl stayed in the chat the whole time. And I'm just like, okay, you're supposed to be suing this chick, but you in there and you're talking to her and she's talking to you. And, and, and then let me tell you something about Ashley. D. She was almost kind of like in her own little way, low key threatening the girl. Uh, not threat like body little harm. I'm talking about threat like when the crystal girl wasn't saying things that I guess what Ashley D deems appropriate. She would say, she said, look now, it's only so much I'm going to take. Don't do that. Cause you know, you know, saying stuff like that, you know, almost like don't trip now because you know I can really put out some information. That's what she was saying. She said, because you know it's some stuff I can say that I'm not saying. So then Crystal got a little hush hush and she started behaving a little bit better in that chat. Mm -hmm. Then somebody in the chat said, Ashley D, did you do this to Crystal because she did not want to spend time with you that particular day and she wants to spend time with her husband? And Ashley got real offended by that. And she said, no, that is not the case. That is not the case. I know what type of relationship we have. You guys don't know the kind of relationship me and Krista have. We have a relationship, but y'all don't know what type. And I'm not going to tell y'all what type. So I'm just like, this whole thing is strange. Whether they got an open relationship, like, are they able to date other people? I mean, I remember when Ashley D first came on before she got linked up with um, Mona. To my understanding, she had like a wife or a girlfriend or something. But I don't hear talking about that anymore. So that whole situation was strange. So now she's going to be suing. And she said that she's going to, it's a civil suit. Because um, now people were saying that it could be that she, it could potentially be that she forced her uh, unwilling. Hey, TC, because she was under the okay. influence. Now, all right, if you guys don't know, I don't really care for Ashley that much. Okay. Um, I think she's kind of boring. But she did give me something that I could feel last night that first live and the second live that i'm about to talk about i feel like both of them was good because 
I'm not looking for no rah rah. I'm looking for information I can pick out of this and and uh make it make sense. Okay. All right. So she did the second live. It started off shaky. It was Ashley D. The the uh for the love of flow, and then later on, Hush Trish came down. Shush Trish. Okay. Um, they were asking. Well, the the crazy lady on there. I don't want to give her no um no pointers or nothing. But the the hush lady, hush Trish lady or whatever. Okay, she was on there and she was all talking about bringing up how you know did she say she was going to beat up Live Babe's daughter? And she said yes because she was upset at the time and she said she was going to do it. She didn't mean it. Okay, so I guess she's satisfied with that. I don't know who she is, but you know the hush Trish lady. She's just nuts. But it is, and she actually actually seems sane because all before she seemed real paranoid and really weird on the other videos that she had when she had her own channel. So somehow she looked a lot better, and I, maybe it's the weave in her hair. It just made her look younger. The other one she looked way old, and she wasn't you know kept or nothing like that. But she looked a lot better. Ashley D still looks spaced out kind of with her eyes, you know, I don't know what she's on, but she's kind of like, you know, paranoid or whatever. She just looked like that to me. I'm like, child, I don't know. A lot going on. Now, I do think this was a good interview because we learned a lot. OK, a lot of questions that people have been asking was answered. And I, I t you know, if I take notes, it had to be good. OK. Now, you guys, some people are not going to like this, okay? Depending on who you support, depending on who you support, you're not going to like this. And it's some people I don't like that this interview is going in that person's favor, okay? So here goes. Flo came on there and she said that um, her and Stanky Baby was in cahoots together. She says, thank you, baby, reached out to her and said that she would pay her to do an interview on her channel. And she says, thank you, baby, never pay her. Now, all of this comes from the actual mouth of Ashley D for the love of flow and uh, hush, uh, shush, trish. If you want to know the words and who it came from directly, you can go to Ashley D's page and you can look at the interview. Everybody's showing a face. It ain't no secret who's on there talking. It ain't no troll people. It is human beings on camera talking. So what VS doing right now is commentary. She also said that she, uh, Flo, she says she has messages saved to prove messages and phone records saved that she could prove that her and Stanky Baby had a, a situation ship uh, through YouTube and where they could talk and they was doing business together. And we're going to get deep down into what business she said they had going on. Okay. I believe it. Now, now people started asking her about her saying she was going to go somewhere and do something to a certain person. Okay. And so this is her explanation. She says, look, I'm a Sagittarius. And she said, I got really heated. And she said, um, she did not take that trip to the state or city. She said she was going to take it to because she's not worth it. Okay. Um, Flo said that she did not put out the pictures of Stanky Baby's child. She said that she feels like that Stanky Baby created that channel herself and exposed her own child because it fit into the narrative that she was going to go to that state. You remember when she got upset? She said she's going to go to that state to fight or whatever. Well, she was saying that she feels like that the girl manipulated the story to make it even bigger um, than what it was, I guess, to have people on her side going against Flo. So it's kind of like that. All right. So now um, Shush Trish then comes on the live. And, and listen, I know a lot of people get annoyed with Shush Trish. And I do. I get annoyed with her myself. But I must say in this live, she was actually giving out more information or, or asking the not giving out more information. She was asking the questions that 
Ashley D should have asked. Okay. So I'm glad that Trish came down because she actually um was giving us more information. You know, Ashley D was just, I, I don't know. And I want to say thank you to Trish if that's the case, uh, because um they had my kid on there and Lady Nika's uh daughter. Apparently they thought that Lady Nika daughter was my daughter because they was like, oh, this is your son, it's your daughter. And I was like, I don't know who that girl is. And then eventually, uh, I think that was Chopper. Somebody told me that Nick was trying to make contact with me at one point, you know, before everything blew up real bad to tell me, you know, what was going on. Flo said that, um, thank you, baby, reached out to her and asked her to work with her. And she wanted Flo to continue doing these stories and trolling and making these videos and stuff for shock value. Now, if you don't believe me, go over to Ashley D's page. I don't care who you rock with. Go to Ashley D's page. Look at the interview for yourself. You'll get the same information I'm giving you. Okay. Probably get more. I just took out the, the, the stuff that made the most sense to me. Okay. So uh, eventually, Flo was apologetic. Okay. She, she was apologetic pretty much for everything. She said she's not going to open up another channel for herself. She's just going to kind of have fun, I guess, through YouTube streets whenever she do, you know, come on, but she's not going to dedicate herself to a channel anymore because it was, it just got to be too much. Um, and the last thing is Ashley D. She gave a summary and she just said, well, guys, she admitted that she lied about the popcorn and she lied about being a hacker. And that's pretty much how it ended. Um, I thought it was a very telling interview. Now, we don't know if it's factual because because the thing is. Flo is saying one thing and we already know somebody else going to come back and be like, well, that's a lie. 